Howdy, howdy. Here we go, here we go. So, I don't know, we've made, what's, what's rolling around? Uh, um, we've made two or three videos out of here so far. And on the one of the first, first video or second video, anyway, we had to move a bunch of cars outside to get in the place before we could start work. A bunch. And uh, I don't know, he had made arrangements or he told me, you know, he said, Yeah, the loader tires are like slick, like working in a concrete, uh, no, or not concrete, or anyway, they're hard. They're non pneumatic. And I'm, I know why he's not over here. I'm sliding around myself. But the wheels, the tires on that. I got you, man. I got you, Bubba. I know what's going on. Hey, look, man. Okay, but okay, but for right now, man, just put it over there by the fence, and I can move it in the morning. Just we're just we're just trying to get it out of from over there. Okay. So, don't, okay, now just set it up against the fence, and we'll do it better tomorrow. I understand, but right now we're trying to you know get. A, He's trying, he's trying, he, he, he's trying, but, you know, he's, I mean, he's wanting to put stuff up and not touch it again, and I get it, because every time you touch these cars, there's a good chance, there's a chance you're going to tear something up, something's going to fall off, but anyway, the tires on that tractor are really slick, they're non-pneumatic, they're hard, and, you know, right now we're just trying to get all this stuff put up, and, you know, I can come back in the morning. I mean, I got to come back anymore. He wants to do a seventh load. Can y'all believe that? I mean, the place does look a little different. It looks a little thinned out, especially over to your right. We ain't doing nothing on the left. Anyway, cars are on right there, cowboy. They get it. I don't think you got to explain it to them. Anyway, it looks thinned out. Uh, you can tell we pulled some loads out of here. Uh, only problem is it's just kind of been like a load in a bundle a day. Uh, we're not taking any oil. One, we're taking one barrel. All right, hey, when I come back, I'll get it. When I come back, be ready. That was all hand and arm signals. We got it like that. All right. All right, let's put it in third gear and get it. Slinging mud. Hey, right there, it looks like a little hole in the wall, which we all know that's where the best food is. Really good food. Really good food. So he had made arrangements. I, I'm not sure what happened. And um, last time I carried this, a whole bunch of stuff fell out. And it's gonna do it again. I think I, you know what? A good little trick. Here's what. Here's here's a trick. You put that fork in between that uh, frame and that leaf spring. It's like you're you got like a bind on it. I should have let him take this little bitty deal, and I take something heavy. But I already got this thing hooked up. He can grab something small. Let me get out of his way. I am super impressed with this little bitty cat. I am super impressed with it. I think it's a 914G. I'm super impressed with it. I should have let him grab this. He takes bills out. Oh, ba, 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 ba. Easy, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, buddy. I can't see all the way. 
there's a car blocked in at some at, a, at a, the, the next door location. There comes another truck. Hope y'all like this traffic watching we've been doing lately. I mean, I'm a car kind of guy. I mean, not a car guy, but I'm connected to cars. Look, we got a Corvette. Woo! I think that was the last year the before they started doing that mid-engine stuff. Holy moly, we ever gonna get a chance? I think we got one. We better take it. I can always, I can always climb up over here on the shoulder. See, I got that leaf spring hooked on there. Should have did that the first time I picked it up. But I know I spilled a bunch of it. Luckily, we didn't clobber none of these cars that were sitting out here. That's the good stuff. I think that's like his for sale stuff. Sorry y'all are catching so much of these forks, but there's plenty of stickers to entertain you look at. There's Dirt Boss. Hey, his channel's getting hot too. Y'all go check him out, my buddy mine. Dirt Boss. It's a real good dude. His channel's his channel's catching some fire. For real. He's busting his buddy. Just bought him a a Komatsu loader with bucket. I'm sure he don't want this tucked up in there. But he don't want nothing heavy either with that loader he's got. I wouldn't. Anyway. We got it here, didn't we? And tomorrow, if I got to move some stuff for him, you know, I'll, I'll handle his stuff like a professional. I won't, I won't beat and bang his stuff. I try. I really do. You know, that's, there's money out here. I still get that. I know everyone in the videos always say, man, there's money on those cars you're crushing. I truly understand. I've been doing this for a minute. I get it. I've done everything when it comes to these cars, except for sell them, which I've took, you know, anyway, uh, never been like a car salesman, and I've never bought them at the auction. Never done that part. But I've pulled motors, dismantled them, pulled parts on the counter every now and then. I wasn't a, I wasn't a counterman, so to say, like that was my day in, day out. But I sling a couple parts here and there. Uh, crushed them, uh, extinguished them after they were on fire. Uh, made a living with them. I mean, towed them, repoed them. Something about holding somebody's car hostage. And I'm telling you, folks. I am in the best seat in the house when it comes to these cars. I'm telling you. I remember when I got in the business, I took a look around and I was like, man, I got to find my way in one of them loaders. That's what I got to do. Got to get off this stupid torch and get on some kind of equipment. And I really think, one, it's kind of like I had to put in my dues. Two, you know, is this dude just going to run off and quit on us? You know, we don't want to put a whole bunch of training into him. He's just going to run off. Or it was like, man, just as soon as I teach that dude um, about this equipment and he gets a little time under his belt, he's gone. You know, I, it could have been it could have been that stuff. Might have, I think I think it was more paying my dues. Well, actually, if you can't run a cutting torch, you really ain't got no business. I mean, you can do it without a cutting torch, but that's something that people need to know how to use in a junkyard or a scrapyard. That's, and it takes that time to know how to cut everything and uh, cut stuff without catching something on fire, cut your face off or, you know, or burn yourself or, you know, tear something up. But yeah, you really need to have that cutting torch skills and this line of work. A lot of yards have gotten away from them. They, it just ends up cars catch on fire. Um, you can cut something out of a car and all of a sudden, like two days later, the car's on fire. Or you put a fire out and it'll start back up. I mean, just these, these car fires or something else. And uh, a lot of yards have gotten away where, you know, they don't use them anymore. You take sawzalls and really, you know, 
cut your cut that stuff out when it gets red. You know, well, that's that's the deal. It gets but you take probably I've done a bunch of times take five six sawzall blades and cut a differential out with a sawzall. Cut the shocks. Cut all them cables. Uh, cut them U boats, C joint boats, whatever you want to call them. Well, folks, uh, this is all we got going on right now. It's a little put up. I even told the boss I was like, dude, they stickered everything over there. And I'm sure come at come the end of the day, I need to help them put the stuff back up or, you know, just a little loader. Anyway, it's good to be nice. I like operating the loader anyway. I don't think there's enough room to go up in there with my calibrated eyeball. See, he's got some cars that are oh, bah, 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 cowboy. Uh, he's got some cars on the other side of this fence, the other part of the yard, and um, he's got some stuff that he's got to get out of the way. So he needs this area, so to speak, to park that stuff. So I go in there and get after it. I had to do some longer weight action this morning to get all this. There's some branches hanging over, slapping my window, and it's already busted. And I'm like, no, no. Let's just go ahead and knock some limbs down. All right, look at the rearview mirror. He's, I thought he'd be right behind me, but he's not. But yeah, he's got to move both them vans, and I, I have no... I've got to dodge that broken down load. I thought he got rid of it, is what I really did. But I'm going to have to dodge that broken down loader. What I'll do is, if he sees me, I'll tell him to put his down. I'll put it in this slippery hole over here, and then he can just go get another one. Hopefully he'll see me. I'm going to block the, the way. Let's see if we can do some loader Jedi mind not tricks but use the force man pick up what I'm laying down brother you just drop it I'm gonna put it in this slippery hole I'm on though I'm on see me see me I'm on I'm wiggling my forks maybe he'll pick up what I'm saying just drop it there he goes there you go yeah there you go sit it down sit it down there you go, sit it down. And I'll put it up in that hole. All right. Boop, 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 boop. There's little trim pieces of plastic go to the bottom of all these cars. I don't even know what they call them, but they're always worth 40, 50 bucks because when people get wrecked, that stuff gets knocked off or busted. Got enough room? I'm sliding. That's how something's gonna get tore up. Really not where it needs to go. It needs to go more that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't tear, tell a lot. And that's that's it's just sliding. He'd have been he'd have been screwed if he tried to get up in here with this car. All right, maybe. Here we go, push. It's tight. <laughs> a couple inches in the front, a couple inches into the back. I wish I got a little more up in there. But anyway. All right. I'm about out of battery. Y'all be careful. Be kind. Got a little more crushing to do. Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh, I'm trying to third gear through here. What are we doing? Nine miles an hour? There's nine. Ten. All right. See y'all tomorrow. Hug your babies. Oh, oh. My daughter's got a concert tonight. La, 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 la. Thank you.